All right, so you're considering making a move to the Tampa Bay area and you have stumbled across Lithia, Fishhawk area, and you found out that they've got some top rated schools and they're building a ton of new construction. Well, the answer to that is yes, and we're gonna check those out today and we're gonna get after them right now. This is the first time in the channel we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I am a team leader and a licensed real estate professional here in the Tampa Bay area. And we help people just like you move, relocate, invest, and sell all over Tampa Bay. And we've got people reaching out to us, you know, phone calls, text messages, emails. Heck, I'm even getting DMs on Instagram right now of people just like you who are trying to make that move. And what I want you to know is however you gotta get hold of me, please feel free to reach out well however it is my team's got your back and oh hey make sure you leave a comment too if you got any questions about specific areas or this area uh, specifically please put a comment down below i do answer all those personally i don't have any assistance reaching out um, or any bots taking care of that that is me i will answer those and another thing is it really kind of lets me know you know if you guys like the videos or don't so it's a lot of feedback it's super helpful and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell also if you're getting value out of this and I wanted to show you this community today. We are in the Hawkstone development here in Lithia, Florida, and we are in the West Bay Builders, okay? And this Hawkstone development is beautiful. I'm gonna get into some details of it here, but I have toured three models. Um, you can see them directly behind me here, and I've done property tours of these. You guys will be able to see these in the coming weeks. Um, we actually go through these stunning models. And one of the things I wanna say is when I'm in these new construction communities, a lot of times, you know, you can see some really high quality quality building and then there's stuff where you're kind of like eh, I don't know about that you know and for the value here I gotta say I'm pretty impressed I was able to interview an actual um, community member here and they had moved from Colorado and they told us about the quality and how pleased they were with the actual quality of the home um, when the builder you know does better than expected that is always nice to have that on the end there but you know because a lot of times you're just hoping to get what you expected but when they go above and beyond and the build quality is better than you expected it's always a nice thing to have here and today we're going to tour the amenities and the, and the beautiful things this community has to offer the uh when you get a new construction home now in these developments what you're really hoping for is you know you want obviously you want a clean safe area that's what people are always asking for but what amenities that's the question that i always get and i don't know what questions you guys have when it comes to new construction but i would love to hear that um, please feel free to put that down below let me know what questions you have that way i can get them answered when i do uh, community tours like this but one of the things here that i love is they've got a dog park a pool a playscape and they're all right on top of each other and as this community grows their their intent is to add more things but I think you'll see when we tour those today that they are actually really, really nice. And again, being able to, to interview a community member and tell us about the, you know, the challenges that they've had or, or what they didn't have in terms of challenges, I think it's really good feedback. And I was really, really impressed with that conversation. And after touring these three beautiful properties here, I was absolutely blown away. Uh, I've toured the Bayshore, the Swan, which is right behind us here. The pool there was just unreal. Total custom pool was incredible. And then on the end there, the Pelican as well. And all of these houses have a ton to offer. This entire community is absolutely gorgeous. Again, top rated schools. Now, here are some of the other things that you get when you move into this community here. You know, a lot of the times when you buy new construction, you get a very corporate feel, right? You do get a, a sense of community because everybody's coming for the same thing, but everything, you know, seems to be like put in its place specifically. And you lose that, to me, you lose that sense of nature because a lot of the time the trees are all cut down and they're all torn out and you're like okay well you know it just you lose sense of it but what i love about lithia and fishhawk specifically in this community is right across the street you literally have fishhawk nature preserve access to that and i'll take you guys over there and give you some details about that coming up and then you have access to the 996 acres triple creek preserve which is 
awesome right you've got horseback riding and trails galore and all this nature that you can take advantage of and the other thing that you're you're really close to here is the alafia state park which um has world-class mountain biking which you would not think is synonymous with florida because we don't have any hills y'all if you see a hill here somebody made it <laughs> but that used to be an old phosphate mine that they've since turned into a biking trail so you've got biking and horseback riding and bmxing and they do cycle cross here and if that's your thing you're really going to love it. You know, if you're a bike um, bike rider or you're a runner, you can kayak. I mean, the rivers around here, the nature preserves, there's so much to do when it comes to outdoor living, not just what you have in the community here. But I cannot wait to show you these community amenities. So we're going to get to that right now, guys. All right, now we're standing here at the pool and I love this pool house. Uh, uh, as you guys can see, there's this great pool house here. It's got clean bathrooms. I took the tour. And then over there you have a uh, covered lanai. It's got fans, garbage cans, recycling. Over here on the pool itself, you've got uh, zero entry on this side. You've got the umbrella that's got the little splash pad type of area in the center of it. It's about four foot six. And then you've got three foot areas around the edges, which is pretty standard for a community pool. But the area is clean. It's gorgeous. Um, and directly behind here, I'm going to take you guys out here. I love this because, you know, sometimes a community pool is like, well, what are you looking out behind behind there? And um, what I love about Hawkstone is they've really done a good job of incorporating the nature here. And I hope you guys can see this behind me, but you've got this beautiful preserve here with lily pads and all kinds of great wildlife. You're going to have sandhill cranes and all the local birds that, that really make Florida unique. Um, and I just love that. And over here to the other side, you've got the kids playscape, which I'll take you guys to in a second. And on, this, on the other side, you got the two dog parks, which I'm going to show you as well. So let's check out this, this preserve here real quick. Well, I don't know about you, but I have no idea who doesn't love a good playscape. Being a dad of three kids, y'all, this is super important to me. Um, what I really like about this is if you can see here, you got a park bench there, a park bench there, and they're both covered. This is Florida. The sun gets pretty intense. <laughs> and you've also got a covered area up top here, but plenty of things to do, a few slides, things to climb, swings, the normal things you would see here at, at any good playscape. Um, and I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know sometimes we're just like, well, what's the play area look like? What's the communal parts really look like? How, how, do we, uh, how are we gonna live in those things? And sometimes you don't get to see those. So I love to do in my videos, as you guys are well aware, is just make sure that you have access and you can see and all those things. I, mean, you, I know you can't touch them like I can, but you know, I'm always checking things like, is it solid? Would I put my kids on there? And the answer to that is absolutely. I would definitely do that. So let's go check out the dog park. So now we're at this awesome dog park. Well, actually, there are two, which I find really cool. Uh, you've got one for large breed, which is on that side, and then you've got one for small breed, under 30 pounds on this side. And um, being a pet owner, I have a large breed dog. We have a uh, seven month old Doberman puppy. <laughs> who is super intimidating, but she will lick your face off. And I understand why people are, get anxious around her. Um, but I also know that sometimes big dogs and little dogs don't mix, right? I don't care who the aggressor is, you know, when you get two different animals that size, things can go crazy really quick. And, um, you know, Stella is a member of our family. And if anything ever happened to her, I'd be devastated. So, you know, she happens to be able to hold her own because of her size, but not every dog is like that. We've also had chihuahuas. So, you know, those little guys don't exactly, uh, you know, hold up in those type of environments. But what I know is our chihuahua was actually pretty darn aggressive to strangers and dogs. And so you just never know how that's gonna go. So I love the fact that you're able to have you know, two separate areas for, you know, to try to avoid that type of thing. And in inside of this dog park here, and I'll, and I'll take you a quick sneak peek, 
They got fire hydrants and tunnels and obstacles and all kinds of things you can do in here with the dog to keep them active and busy, which I really appreciate. Um, you know, there's not too often that your local community, right, your the neighborhood that you live in actually has dog runs or dog parks. This is starting to become newer, but a lot of the times they don't want to give up this land because you can put more houses on here and make way more money than, you know, a place for dogs to go run around. So I really appreciate that Hawkstone thought that through. Um, and again, I love what West Bay is doing here with the quality of their homes. Uh, you guys can check those out on the tours too. But yeah, the dog park, super cool, y'all. So one of the things that you have at your fingertips if you decide to move into the Hawkstone community here is you've got access to the Fishhawk Nature Trail um, and the Nature Preserve, which is awesome. It's like 1,500 acres of, of wildlife that is being protected because there's a, a tributary here that feeds directly into the Alafia River, which it goes all the way back out to Tampa, which it's beautiful. Um, but there is at right here in the nature preserve, you've got, you know, covered picnic tables. You've actually got some workout gear. And uh, to this side over here, you've got a basketball court just directly across the street. Now, I know that the Hawkstone offers great amenities, but this is access to a three mile hiking trail, which is really cool. And um, as we've discussed, you know, one of the things you also have access to the area just two miles south of here is you've got the the Triple Creek Preserve, which is uh, almost a thousand acres of, you know, pristine wildlife, hiking trails, you know, so much to do in this area. So, you know, I really hope that you guys got a ton of value out of today's video and that you really see the value behind what Hawkstone has to offer um, and Lithia itself. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments down below or reach out to me and my team. My contact information is listed. You can DM on Instagram, call, text, email, whatever works best for you. Just know that when moving to the Tampa Bay area, my team here at the True Living Group has got your back. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.